What's up y'all, my name is Rhino Spartan, and I made another Clang Drive in Space Engineers. For those who don't know, a Clang Drive utilizes the broken physics in Space Engineers to propel an object in a certain direction. This is my third iteration of this contraption, and is substantially more resource efficient and even more effective. This version of my Clang Drive design uses a completely different core system. This system is nearly identical to a system suggested by Five Nights at Freddy's Fan 1712, which is composed of a piston, an interior pillar, and a door. This system is almost exactly the same, however, instead of using an interior pillar, I used a hyphen. By using a hyphen instead of an interior pillar, I was able to reduce the height of the contraption by an entire block, and also reduce the amount of materials needed to build the contraption. The previous two versions of my Clang Drive design used a different core system that took a considerable amount of time to activate. When you would close the hangar door, it would take at least three seconds for the tip of the door to hit the brim. This system, however, is nearly instantaneous. When you reverse the piston, it goes up immediately. As you can see, this thing is not going directly upwards. The main idea for my line of clang drives is the use of gyroscopes to stabilize the direction of the clang drive. All four of the gyroscopes focus into the center of mass on the clang drive, meaning it will only go directly upwards. The previous two versions of my clang drive used 12 gyroscopes, all set to max power and max override. Another user by the name of Bloginton Bakley suggests that I reduce the power and also reduce the override, which is exactly what I did. I cut the power usage for the override gyroscopes in half and significantly reduced the override. I also took the suggestion of Mephisto 43 and made this clang drive significantly smaller. I also made a second version of my small grid stabilized clang drive. I changed the amount of gyroscopes on the contraption and I changed a lot. I changed the amount of gyroscopes from 28 override gyroscopes to only four. It still maintained the same piston, armor plate, and door system as it was really the only system I could use. Now, if you're looking to save time and resources, this contraption is for you, as you will no longer need to collect ice for your hydrogen thrusters to get into space. You can simply use this contraption and use very little power, and by a push of a button, you can send yourself straight into space. Down in the description, you will find the workshop links for both the small grid clang drive and the large grid clang drive. If you found this video helpful or you like this idea, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye. Have mercy. Please, please. There is no mercy.